Welcome to this edition of Stay at Home Connect. I'm Phyllis Jackson. Eligibility for the COVID-19 vaccine expands in Georgia. It now includes those over the age of 55, those with serious health conditions, those who are overweight and obese, and those over the age of 16 with high risk conditions as defined by the CDC. To learn more about those conditions and whether or not you're eligible, you can go to the Georgia Department of Public Health's website. It's dph.georgia.gov. That's dph.georgia.gov. More vaccination sites are slated to open in Georgia this week. You can get registered for a vaccination by going to myvaccinegeorgia.com. That's myvaccinegeorgia.com. A growing number of European nations are suspending their use of the AstraZeneca vaccine. France, Italy, Germany, and Spain are among those saying no to the pharmaceutical company's shot due to reports of blood clots associated with its use. Officials with AstraZeneca say there have been a small number of blood clots, but there is no evidence that the vaccine carries an increased risk of clots. Atlanta City Council member Andrea Boone teams up with Humana, Walgreens, and Uber to provide COVID-19 vaccinations in District 10. For months, myself, Pastor Gregory Sutton, and other members have worked very tirelessly to get the vaccination right here in our very own backyard. As you know, our zip code, area code 30331, 30318, have been some of the hardest hit by the COVID-19. But now we're on our way back to work. We're on our way back to school. We're on our way back to our family reunions. But we want to encourage our neighbors to come out and get vaccinated. That's a wrap. We'll see you on the next edition of Stay at Home Connect.